Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is June the 4th, 2016. It was on this day in 2000 when a 7.9 struck Indonesia. At least 103 people were killed, 2,174 were injured, and extensive damage was caused from landslides. It was also on this day in 780 BC, the first historic solar eclipse was recorded in China. On June 4, 1896, Henry Ford put the finishing touches on the first gasoline-powered motor vehicle. It was called the Quadricycle, so named because it ran on four bicycle tires. All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. As of 3.44 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in only 107 earthquakes. Last week, we clocked in a total of 1,706, and our monthly total currently rests at 799. This is based solely off the earthquake data provided by the USGS, mind you. For historical reference, a year ago today, we clocked in 248 earthquakes. The strongest to strike the planet then was a magnitude 6.0 that struck Malaysia. As it stands now, we have registered two earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 5 scale. These were a 5.4 that struck Indonesia and a 5.4 that hit Tonga. We have currently clocked in 9 magnitude 4 earthquakes. We have a 4.9 that just hit off the shore of Greece this afternoon. Reports have been streaming in stating that the shaking was experienced for roughly 4 seconds and that in most cases it was fairly mild. Anyways, Japan experienced a 4.8. Indonesia again with a 4.7 and a 4.6. Fiji with a 4.6 as well. Iran was hit with a 4.3. Cyprus with a 4.1. And El Salvador with a 4.2. The remaining earthquakes struck various locations here in the United States. We see that Hawaii has registered only one thus far. This was a 2.3 that struck Pahala. Alaska has experienced only 22. The strongest being a 2.3 in Cordova. You might remember Cordova as this was near the site of the Exxon Valdez oil spill of 1989. Washington has been very quiet with only two experienced thus far. The strongest to hit was a 1.1 and a 0.9 in Morton. Oregon has been very quiet today with only one on the books. This was a 2.8 in Dune City. California has been quiet as well for the most part. The most intense to strike today was a 3.6 that was later revised to a 3.4 in Boulder Creek. This area is no stranger to earthquakes. In fact, just within the past year, Boulder Creek has experienced more than 593 earthquakes. This is due in part to its location along the San Andreas Fault. Anyways, the Golden State has been especially calm following the series of magnitude 3 earthquakes that struck on Thursday, June the 2nd. On this day, Ludlow experienced a 3.3 and a 3.2, and Muskoi clocked in a 3.1. Nevada has clocked in 24 today. 54% of these quakes had an epicenter in or around Hawthorne. The strongest experienced in the Sagebrush State was a 2.2 in Eureka. Speaking of this location, just yesterday, Eureka experienced a magnitude 3.9 and a 3.0. What is interesting about this is these earthquakes fall just 2.2 miles outside of the Diamond Peak mountain range. This just so happens to be a shield volcano. Interesting. The USGS has yet to register an earthquake in Utah, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and our favorite super volcano. Finally, Oklahoma has seen two earthquakes today. We have a 3.1 in Perry. This earthquake just so happens to fall only 0.2 miles from a hydraulic fracking well, and we have a 3.0 in Moreland. Only 0.43 miles separate the epicenter of this quake from a fracking well. So there you have it folks, we've experienced a relatively quiet day, seismically speaking. Typically, when we experience a lull like this during the day, we see a spike of activity following soon after. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the next 12 to 24 hours. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined, Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!